This is uh, Satrix, and I'm here to show you how to put a new hard drive in a laptop. And I'll show you examples on how to do that. Um, first of all, what tools you may need? These little screwdrivers. Um, they're really handy, especially for doing this type of work. But sometimes the screws are a pain in the butt, so I like to use the like to press down on on the top here, and then use this to twist it. If you can't get it off, otherwise strip the screw. Um, <clears throat> now this is a an HP, and I'm fixing it for a friend. I'm going to show you some examples of where to find the hard drive. Sometimes that can be a task on its own. Um, sometimes it'll be in here, or there'll be a a bigger panel, but you'll see something that looks similar to like little discs, like right here. I don't know if you can see it or not but it'll look like that. You'll see little discs. Like this one has a little RAM chip on there. And then um, this one on the corner has a little battery there. You'll sometimes see that on the location of the hard drive. Now, sometimes you can find the hard drive on the side of the computer, but there'll always be two screws on the end of it. And it'll, it'll like have little arrows sometimes on where the screws are. Otherwise, <clears throat> um, you'll find it, like I said, around here, or here, or here, or here, and then sometimes in the front and on the sides. Um, otherwise, for pain in the ass ones, you'll find it under the keyboard. Now, I previously uh, did a lot of prep work uh, of getting this out. So, I'll just get in here. Take this off. Take that screw off. Now if you guys are wondering what this little piece of plastic thing in here is, this is a uh, um, stack resistant uh, bag for hard drive, you can find it around a hard drive, sometimes around a dish box or laptop. Well, this, it, whatever you put on it um, will re reduce the chance of like um, generating static electricity to whatever electronic component you're working with. Um, this is the brand new hard drive. And I just took that out right there. <clears throat> now this end, you'll, you'll find this commonly in most, most laptops. This end just pops right off of there. Just like so. And you take your other hard drive and you just slip it on this, on your new one. Just like that. So whatever you do when you're doing this, do not bend the pins. Otherwise, you're going to have to re-straighten them. Otherwise, you will never get this little black piece back on. And these, these are called IDE drives. Um, these are common in older computers. And then as you do... Is you take your little holder thing, and most laptops will have one of these when you pull it out. And you want to keep the screws for this, because you got to screw the screws back in and then pop the drive, hard drive back in. And then you're ready to reload your OS on it or 
whatever have you. Um, I'd like to also say that um, I, I did this other laptop just recently and um, just for general knowledge purposes if if you have a laptop or uh, what was a laptop so I'll explain it a laptop uh, laptop was uh, was loading up and um, it, it, it wasn't starting past load so and I noticed that it was overheating well it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where, where the hot source of heat was coming from um, well, anyway, after like um, two minutes of it loading, it would just shut off. Now, most commonly on what that problem is, is um, is the CPU fan on the processor inside the laptop is bad. And it's, it's an easy fix. It's just a, a pain in the butt to take the computer apart. So I'll just leave that little tip with you. You know, along with my first video I, I previously made, fixing your computer. Um, well, thank you. Bye.